Now this is a burger that captivates your palate with the very first bite. Mm. Just when you're thinking that that burger patty, the chicken patty is rather tame, you begin to taste the tingling heat of that peri peri spice. Juicy Lucy Mutton Burger. This I think is going to be a burger that will have a lot to say to one's palate. Mm. Hi folks, this is Kripal Amana, Gourmet on the Road. Of course, sitting at home for the moment. You're watching Food Lovers TV. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and strong. I was sitting at home, working from home and I felt like tasting something different. I felt like tasting some burgers. That's right, some burgers. Now I don't remember the last time we tasted burgers in Gourmet on the Road. I don't think we've done a dedicated burger episode. I think the last time we tasted burgers was when we went for an extended breakfast to the Hole in the Wall Cafe. If you haven't caught that episode yet, I'm going to place a link in the description and also somewhere up here. So I've heard of this burger enterprise that does some interesting work with burgers and I'm told they also do burgers with a twist. So we've ordered a selection of burgers, both vegetarian and non-vegetarian, from this burger takeaway that's called Boss Burgers. Well, our burgers here and the burger boxes loudly proclaim the brand Boss Burger. I must say I'm very impressed with the packaging of the burger. You know, typically when you're ordering a burger and when it's layered ingredient by ingredient, topping by topping, the one thing that you're always nervous about with respect to a takeaway is you don't know the condition of the burger when it reaches you. But I must say that the chaps at Boss Burger have certainly made sure that the packaging is sturdy. In fact, this is rock solid and these cartons were also placed were wrapped in a sealed paper bag which had the temperature of the cook, the server who packed the order and also the rider who finally delivered it. So Boss Burger certainly gets full marks with respect to the packaging. So what are the burgers that we have here? This is the Boss Chicken Tikka Burger. The second burger is the Holy Guacamole Black Bean Burger. So this is the vegetarian burger. We then have a crispy peri peri chicken burger and this one I think is the juicy lucy mutton burger. I like the name itself. And then last but not the least, we have the crunchy quinoa and vegetable burger. So we have five burgers in all to be tasted, two vegetarian and three non-vegetarian. So let's get to the burgers. I think we'll make a beginning with the vegetarian burgers. The flip side of course to the sturdy packaging is that you have to make some effort to get to your burger. There you go. The first of our burgers, the burger of course there's a napkin and some English mustard if you care for some. This is the crispy quinoa burger and I think the quinoa is crumbing the patty out here. I think let's also take a look at the second vegetarian burger, the Holy Guacamole Black Bean Burger. That's a loaded burger. You can feel the weight of the burger the moment you lift it from that carton. And of course, because this is the guacamole burger, this has also gotten a wee bit soggy given the nature of the avocado guacamole. You've got a veggie patty and then of course you've got the guacamole which is the avocados for the most part and then you also have a salsa of tomatoes there. I can see some lettuce in there too and I think there's some sriracha mayo too that is smeared on this burger. What's thoughtful is that the eatery on my request has cut the burgers into two halves so you can clearly see what's happening in the burger. So that's the patty and I think there's some beetroot that's in there. There's some cucumber, some tomato and also some onions. So this is the quinoa crumbed patty. So this is a patty that's crumbed with some quinoa and then grilled. The bun is a solid sesame bun and what's nice is that the bun is holding its shape, it's holding its form, it's holding its texture. It hasn't crumbled or dissolved 
with the onslaught of the wet ingredients especially the guacamole in this case i think let's make a beginning with that holy guacamole wedge burger mm. so the patty here is a black bean or a rajma patty so you're certainly tasting the texture of rajma of black beans and then the patty has a bit of a crunch which is nice which is interesting mm. and to balance against the beans you have that creamy hit of the avocado guacamole and also some of the freshness that you taste from that tomato salsa so there's some tomatoes there the crunch of the onions and also there's a bit of spice that you're tasting in there a bit of chili hit too and i think there's also a bit of corn in that patty somewhere because i can definitely taste the texture of corn mm. what's nice is some of the black beans some of the rajma is whole so you have some texture that you can bite into so it's not a complete mush of a patty what's nice is there's a bit of a crunch that you can taste in that patty I think that carton has done its job to deliver this holy guacamole black bean burger in as structurally sound a manner as possible. You know, when it comes to a burger, I want the bun to be able to hold all the ingredients together. You don't want that bun to wither away, to crumble with the onslaught of all the ingredients, especially wet ingredients like the guacamole salsa, etc. and i must say that bun does a good job of holding it all together so if you like your rajma or the black bean as they call it influences from mexico in the guacamole and that tomato salsa this certainly is a burger that you will enjoy there's also a fair bit of cheesiness in that burger so i suspect there's some cheese sauce that's also gone in as one of the condiments in this burger Let's move next to the quinoa veggie burger. Hmm. Now this is a burger that captivates your palate with the very first bite. So you have the starchiness of the root vegetables and then you have that grainy crunch of the quinoa that you bite into. There's also some spice seasoning that's gone in. I can definitely taste a hint of coriander on my taste bud somewhere. and then the crunch the crunch of the cucumber the onions and the tomatoes what i also like about this burger is that there is a good balance between the bun and what's inside the bun in the holy guacamole the flavors were great and the bun was doing its best to hold all the stuffing within itself but somewhere along the way you felt that the bun was a bit overwhelmed especially by the moistness of the guacamole but out here the bun and the stuffing within are in perfect balance Mm. You know what's nice about this burger is that it has a subtle hint of some of the things that our desi palates love. So I think there's a bit of coriander that I'm tasting somewhere. There's a bit of sourness that I taste perhaps from some tamarind that's gone into that burger too. So it's a sort of burger that our desi palates will appreciate well. Mm. When it comes to tasting a burger, it can get messy, but then that's the nature of a burger. When you're eating a burger, you want to get a little messed up. by that burger you want things falling out of your burger because then you know that's a loaded burger that you're tasting a good burger is also about the play of textures so you're biting into the earthy textures of the root vegetables the potatoes the beetroot the sweet potato and then you have that crunch of that quinoa and then the fresh crunch of the veggies the onion the cucumber and the tomato so this particular burger is as much about the flavor as it is about the texture So if you like a burger that is creamy, lush, I think go for the holy guacamole. But if you like something which is contained well within the confines of that burger bun, if you appreciate the starchy flavors of the root vegetables, that crunch of the quinoa, the fresh crunch of the vegetables, a bit of the spice that you're tasting in the coriander and also that slight hit of imli, I think the quinoa burger, the quinoa veggie burger is certainly a burger that you will enjoy. Let's move to our chicken burgers next. And we have two chicken burgers. One is a Boss Chicken Tikka burger. And the second chicken burger is a Chicken Peri Peri burger. So this is the Peri Peri crumbed chicken burger. So you got a chicken patty there, minced chicken patty I think. 
which is crumbed with some peri peri spice and then grilled and then of course you've got some tomatoes you've got some onions there some cucumber as well and the other chicken burger which i'm told is very popular there is this boss chicken tikka burger so you basically have chicken tikka you have some tandoori mayo in there i think there's also some pudina chutney or the pudina mayo and some onions etc this looks like some lachha pyaaz that's been topped on the chicken tikka after all it's a chicken tikka burger and therefore one would only expect that lachha pyaaz i love the color of the chicken tikka and what's also nice is the manner in which the buns have been toasted so it's got a bit of a dark brown crust around the edges and i think that also helps in that sesame bun being able to hold all the ingredients rather well together i'm going to make a beginning with the chicken peri peri burger mm just when you're thinking that that burger patty the chicken patty is rather tame you begin to taste the tingling heat of that peri peri spice so peri peri or piri piri is a portuguese term for a south african bird chili and when it comes to the peri peri rub is basically the chilies peppers and some other ingredients that go into make a spicy seasoning or a spicy rub or in this case a crumb for that minced chicken patty the last two burgers that i tasted i think there was a lot happening in the burgers whether it was at the fatty assault of the guacamole the avocado or the spiciness of that salsa or the hit of coriander and the imli that i got in the quinoa crusted burger this burger seems a little tame as compared to that when you're eating a burger you also look forward to a patty that's quite generous in its proportions and this chicken patty i must say is quite generous in its proportions sometimes when you're eating a burger and after a certain point you're not tasting any of the fillings you're not tasting any of the patty because that's disappeared all that you're tasting is the bread whereas out here there's plenty that's gone in in terms of the number of components and also the proportion of the main act like the peri peri chicken patty in this case that is proportioned well enough that you're tasting that chicken patty from the first chew to the last mm. so typically when you do a burger the burger is slathered with some butter and i think out here along with the butter there's also some peri peri masala that's gone into the bun so it is in a bit of that spicy warmth very light very mild i must say not just in the patty but also in the bun when you're eating a burger and if it's not messy i think then there's no fun there's plenty of the chicken that you're tasting in this burger mm. the fresh ingredients like the cucumber also help cleanse the palate so i'm tasting the burger a bit of the spice from that peri peri rub and then you taste the cucumber that washes it all away in a manner of speaking refreshing your palate for the next bite of this burger mm. so boss burgers i'm told is a subsidiary of social and smokehouse delhi so some of the restaurants to have the boss burger range on the menu i think if you were to eat these burgers just a few minutes after they were assembled i think the flavors and the textures would be something else altogether but having said that i'm tasting these burgers about 30 minutes after it was delivered to me and i'm quite enjoying it all the same mm. well time to turn our gaze to that boss chicken tikka burger I love the color of the chicken tikka and the charred edge of that sesame bun. There's also a bit of the tomato from that salad of lachha pyaaz tomato that spilled over the edges. Mm. That's a chicken tikka, lachha pyaaz and tomato that you're tasting in one bite. You can also taste some of the spicing of that in that tandoori mayo. The most apparent of which is the coriander the dhania i think there's also a bit of the flavor that you taste of that mustard oil in there somewhere the mustard oil in which that chicken is marinated along with the other spices and ingredients you can definitely taste some of the flavor of that garam masala in this chicken tikka burger i think some of that kasuri methi as well that's probably gone into the spice mix for the chicken tikka there's also a bit of sourness the sourness that you get from some sirke pyaaz you know that vinegar sort of sourness that you taste somewhere so perhaps that's the function of the lachha salad with the tomato the onions etc i think this is a burger that you need to savor 
a few minutes after it's come off the grill. So if you were to order the chicken tikka burger, as soon as you get your delivery, go for it right away. Mm. You're also tasting every once in a while the charred flavors of the chicken tikka too. Mm. And as I'm tasting bite after bite of that chicken tikka burger, now I can also sense some of the heat, the gentle heat from the spices and also perhaps that Kashmiri chilli powder that's gone into that spice mix to make that chicken tikka. There's also a hint of pudina that I'm tasting somewhere there. Perhaps some mint chutney that's gone into it. So if you're looking for chicken tikka along with some lacha pyaaz, tomato and some mint chutney in a bun, this boss chicken tikka burger will certainly do it for you. Mm. Personally though, between the two burgers that I tasted, I quite liked the chicken piri piri burger. Because I was tasting plenty of the chicken, that juicy chicken. There was only the slightest hint of spice in that peri peri rub and then of course the freshness of the cucumber, the onion that sealed it all. But if you like something spicy, if you like something very Indian in its flavors, then this chicken tikka burger will do it for you. Let's go for the last burger that we have here this afternoon. This is the Juicy Lucy Mutton Burger. This is a burger that is loaded. What I love about all the Boss Burgers that I have tasted thus far is the proportion of the filling to the bun. And this mutton burger is a perfect example of that. That mutton patty is twice the dimension of that bun that's holding it together. Of course, there's plenty more in this burger. I can see some caramelized onions, there's some tomatoes in there, some cucumber. And I think there's also some cheese that's oozing from between that mutton patty. This, I think, is going to be a burger that will have a lot to say to one's palate. Mm. That meat patty is soft and the sort that gives in readily to the bite. So the meat in that meat patty is minced rather fine. So the moment you bite into that patty, that mince spreads itself all over your tongue. And that's what you're tasting. And you're tasting the meat and also the spicing in that meat patty. It's a sort of spicing that reminds you of a good Sikh kebab. You're tasting the spices that you would taste in a mutton Sikh kebab in this juicy Lucy. Mm. I just lost a cucumber there. And then that spicing contrasts with the sweetness of the caramelized onions. There's also the cheese that's in there, so that also helps to round off some of the spices. Mm. I think this burger again is rather clever in its construction. Every element that's gone into this burger is thought through. From the spicing of the finely minced lamb that makes for the lamb patty, the sweetness that you get from the caramelized onions, the fresh crunch of the vegetables, especially the cucumber that helps wash some of the spices and that stuffing of cheese that helps tone down some of the spices of that juicy Lucy mutton seek patty. There's also a bit of the charred flavors that you're tasting in this patty. The sort that you taste when tasting a seek kebab. If you like your mutton and you like something spicy, well, that Juicy Lucy is certainly a burger you'll enjoy. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this burger tasting. As I mentioned right at the start of this video, I'm very wary of ordering burgers in takeaway form because you don't know in what shape and form they will reach you. But having said that, full marks to Boss Burgers for packaging these burgers in this sturdy cardboard cottons that also have thoughtful features like these air vents to ensure that the burgers don't sweat. I tasted most of the burgers at least 30 to 45 minutes after they left the Boss Burger kitchens. And I must say I found that most of the burgers hadn't suffered the effect of that travel and time. If you were to ask me for my favorite Boss Burgers, Amongst the vegetarian, I will certainly return for that quinoa root vegetable burger. I quite enjoyed the chicken piri piri burger as well. And sometimes we inadvertently save the best for the last. And that's where that juicy Lucy mutton seek burger came in. So if you like your burgers, definitely check them out. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until the next time, take care, stay safe and happy eating. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, 
Do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.